Prime Minister Saev, uh, my friend uh, Soran, it's uh, really great to see you again after your visit last year to Brussels. Uh, then it's great to see you here in uh, Skopje. This is my first visit uh, and uh, I thank you for hosting me and my delegation. It has been an excellent visit where we have, have uh, uh, very fruitful and constructive uh, discussions addressing uh, many important issues, but uh, especially addressing the future uh, of your country and your ambitions to join the uh, alliance. It was also a great uh, privilege uh, for me to address uh, the parliament uh, today, especially after the dramatic events uh, last uh, year. Since then, since the dramatic events last uh, year, uh, your country has made significant efforts and uh, significant progress uh, towards long-term uh, political uh, stability. And I commend you uh, for your leadership and your determination under difficult uh, circumstances and for your strong commitment to bring about positive change. NATO will continue to support your country's efforts. Let me also thank you for uh, continuing contributions to NATO's training mission in Afghanistan and for uh, the increase in troop uh, numbers uh, you have announced. This is a clear sign uh, of your commitment to international uh, security and we are grateful for uh, your strong commitment to NATO and to our international operations. Prime Minister, we have just had uh, excellent and uh, very constructive uh, discussions about your country's future. I commend the efforts uh, being made to find a solution to the name issue. The discussions show the value of dialogue. Agreement on this issue is crucial for your country to join NATO. The reforms uh, you are working on are also important. Good governance, strengthening the rule of law, building an open multi-ethnic society and good neighborly relationships. I know your country faces challenges and reform is not easy, but it can be done. So I urge all parties to work constructively in the interest of all your people. And I urge the government to reach out uh, constructively to the opposition and vice versa. These reforms uh, are uh, essential. I encourage you to continue on the path of reform. We want you to succeed. Joining the NATO alliance requires hard work and uh, commitment. But NATO's door remains open. Last year we welcomed uh, Montenegro into the NATO family, our 29th member. For more than two decades, NATO has invested in the security and the stability of the Western Balkans. And the region has made significant progress since the 1990s. We support your Euro-Atlantic aspirations because we want to see your country at the heart of a stable, democratic and prosperous region. Prime Minister, once again I commend you for your efforts and I look forward to continuing our work together to support your democratic reforms and your country's efforts to join NATO. Thank you. Počtovani kolegi, imamo 10 minuti za novinarski prašanja. We have 10 minutes for the journalist question. We will start with the gentleman behind, Adriano. And please tell to whom you refer the question. Uh, I would like to ask you if uh, we don't have any kind of uh, progress in uh, the negotiations concerning the, the name issue, can you exclude that uh, uh, your country could be a member of NATO with a temporary name? 
I can exclude that. Uh, there is no other way to join NATO without uh, uh, solving the name issue. And that has been clearly stated uh, several times. Uh, it was uh, first stated at the summit in uh, 2008 in Bucharest. I was there as Norwegian Prime Minister. Then it was uh, reiterated at our uh, uh, NATO summit in Wales in 2014 and once again at the NATO summit in uh, Warsaw in 2016. So there is no plan B, no other way of joining uh, NATO than to solving the uh, name uh, issue. But allies have agreed uh, that NATO will invite your country to join the alliance once uh, a mutual acceptable solution uh, to the name issue has been reached within the framework of uh, the UN. And therefore we support the efforts to find a solution. We welcome the momentum we see. Uh, we welcome the fact that uh, there is a willingness uh, both in, in Skopje and in Athens uh, to try to find a solution. And we also welcome the strong focus on reforms. And uh, allies uh, will also uh, uh, consider and look into uh, the reforms because uh, rule of law, uh, good governance, uh, freedom of media are core values for the alliance. Uh, our Washington Treaty is based on some core values, democracy, rule of law and individual liberty. Da li možemo da dobijemo kratka ocenka za vojno, političku i bezbednostnu situaciju u regionu? Ako zemlja je predvid što se sluči na Kosovo, ako imamo predvid saopštenje na Sjedinje američke države za turističke napade i za novi odpaket na ime to na Makedoniju. Hvala. Do koga bo postovate prašanje to, gospodine? Za dva. I za premijerat i za sekretar. Добре, јас лично верувам дека регионот е стабилен. За жал ги осудуваме ваквите работи кои што се случија во поново време и во Косово. На вистина, овој наш регион повеќе не е буре барот. Овој наш регион гради пријателство и пораките на пријателство се испратени и допираат до сите страни на светот. Јас сум убеден и дека ќе продолжиме во тој правец да го градиме пријателството заради безбедноста, стабилноста и добрата идина на целиот овој регион. Јас сум апсолутно сигурен, имајќи во предвид дека сум контактирал, контактирам со првите луѓе од политичкото лидерство на целиот овој регион, сите прават максимални напори за да напредуваме кон нашето членство во Европската унија, да ги подобриме демократските процеси, да ја зголемиме регионалната соработка, да ја зголемиме довербата и храбростта на нашите граѓани, на нашите бизнисмени, да инвестираат една во друга во земјите и сум убеден дека ваквите изолирани инциденти кои што се случуваат за жал нанесуваат многу штетни последици за перспективите на целиот Балкан, но верувам дека брзо ќе се најдат одговорните луѓе, ќе бидат казнети, Во, во постапки со одветно на законот и ќе ја испратат позна, пораката на казнивост на секакви вакви случаеви кои што секако нашите граѓани треба да ги знаат. NATO remains uh, fully committed to the stability uh, of uh, this uh, region and NATO has uh, uh, been uh, actively involved in efforts to uh, keep this uh, region stable and to prevent uh, wars. We have to remember that uh, uh, after the end of the Cold War, uh, NATO helped to end the two ethnic conflicts uh, in this region, in uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina and in uh, uh, Kosovo, Serbia. And uh, we also actually had troops and operations here in this nation in 2001 and 2002. So NATO has played historically an important role in stabilizing the whole region. We still have presence in Kosovo. We have our K4 force in Kosovo. We have uh, presence in Sarajevo. We have presence in, in, in Skopje. Uh, and we have several members in the region, uh, Croatia and Slovenia, but we also have uh, Montenegro as our uh, newest uh, member uh, uh, together with uh, Albania, which has been member for some years. So NATO is present in the region. And we continue to work uh, with our partners in the region, with the Aspen countries in the region, uh, to continue to stabilize uh, this uh, uh, region. And we are inspired by the progress we see in this country, because you are making progress. You are making progress on the reforms. 
you have been able to turn away from the political crisis you faced last year and now you have created stability, you are moving in the right direction and you are implementing reforms which are highly recognized and valued by all NATO allies. So you have really turned a corner and you're moving in the right direction. That encourages uh, us. Then of course there are also uh, which is the developments uh, and uh, some aspects uh, with or by the situation in this region which uh, uh, gives reasons for concern. Uh, we are uh, we continue to be present uh, with a significant military force in Kosovo, with the K4 uh, force there, and of course uh, the killing of uh, Ulivir uh, Ivanovic uh, was uh, really something that uh, uh, was an example of that the situation in uh, Kosovo is not yet uh, where we would like it to be. And uh, therefore, NATO strongly condemns uh, the killing of uh, Mr. Ivanovic. Uh, we uh, uh, think it is extremely important that uh, uh, those responsible for the killing are held accountable uh, and uh, that uh, both parties uh, show uh, calm and restraint. And uh, NATO will continue to stay there uh, with our uh, K4 force to protect uh, all the people of uh, uh, Kosovo. So uh, NATO is here in this region. We work with our partners. We uh, have members uh, to help to continue to stabilize this uh, region. Sead Rizlanovic, Televizija 24. Da. Imam prašanja za gospodin od Stoltenberg. Od Kako što i sami odvelite, nema plan B za vlegovanjato na Makedonija vo alijansata, osim rešavanjato na problem od Sojimeta so Grcija. No od posljednjih od samet na NATO 2008. godina, okolnostite se dosta smeniti geopolitički, geostrateški, tako i vo regionot. I sami od imate predupreduvano poveke pate za ulogata na Rusija, za ekspanzionističkata politika na Moskva, Тоа беше очигледно и со влегувањето на Црнагора во НАТО, каде што имаше директна интервенција на Москва. Има Москва не го крие своето противење на влегувањето на Македонија во НАТО. Вие како генерален секретар се разбира не можете да донесете таква одлука, но мислите ли дека може би земите членки би требало да ја разгледаат својата стратегија во однос на на влегувањето на Македонија во НАТО, бидеќи земјава на вистина прави се што може и сака да биде членка на организацијата. No, I don't think so. Uh, and I think it's important to be honest with you. Uh, because I think uh, uh, it is important to be ambitious. And I'm encouraged by the uh, determination, by the... Uh, the strong efforts uh, of your country to move towards uh, membership and you are really making a lot of progress and that is encouraging and I commend you for that. Uh, at the same time it is important to be realistic and therefore it is important to uh, recognize and to see that uh, NATO is an alliance which uh, bases all its uh, decisions on consensus. Meaning that uh, as long as one nation block a decision there will be uh, no decision. And uh, therefore, I think it will only make uh, your efforts more difficult and uh, less, uh, uh, less uh, likely that you will be able to join if uh, you base your efforts on a false assumption that it's possible to join uh, NATO without solving the name issue. That has been clearly stated by the Alliance again and again. I really hope that you are able to solve the uh, name issue. I really welcome the renewed uh, momentum, the renewed efforts. And of course, it is uh, uh, necessary to see flexibility uh, and to have a pragmatic approach. Uh, it's not for NATO to solve the name issue. Uh, this is an effort by, um, by uh, this nation and, and Greece and it is a, a, a UN-led or a UN-facilitated uh, uh, process. So NATO will not go into the uh, concrete proposals, the concrete uh, ways to solve the name issue, but I think you will only uh, postpone and reduce the possibilities uh, of joining if you, 
if you uh, think there is a plan B because there is no plan B. Последното прашање, the last question, Искра Повел. Искра Коровишовска, Алфа Телевизија. Прашањето е до генералниот секретар. Господина Столтенберг, зошто НАТО ја игнорира пресудата од ХАК и дали тоа не е кршење на меѓународното право? Благодарам. Well, that is a, a ruling by a court, but this is a political decision. And of course, a political alliance, as NATO has the mandate, uh, the possibility to make the political decisions uh, we uh, want to make as an alliance. And as I said, NATO is based on consensus. So uh, uh, to uh, change a decision, uh, uh, to make a new decision requires uh, the agreement requires unanimous support from uh, all allies. And, and, and I think I would not be honest with you if I uh, indicated that it was a possibility to circumvent or to avoid the name uh, issue. Uh, the, uh, the ruling in Hague is a legal ruling, but this is at the end of the day a political uh, uh, issue which uh, has uh, 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 which has a political decision uh, made by NATO uh, at several uh, uh, summits. And, uh, and again, uh, we are 29 allies. Uh, the good thing is that all allies have the same uh, uh, rights, the same responsibilities, they have the, a seat at the table, but uh, it requires that uh, all allies also agree. And therefore, uh, I think it will be wrong to indicate that there is any possibility to move towards membership without solving the name issue. So we would go to the Farm Press Conference yet of people that are not sitting on the money yet. Shake hands once again. Good friends. My hero. Thank you.